over. Okay, let's go for a three minute game. Uh, this is FM Dr. Pipo from France. And I do get another white here. Um, and the three minute game means that I will be able to talk a little bit less, I think. So I'm going for the main line of the of the Petrov here. Um, let's see what he uh, what he has in in store. I'm sure he um, he's well he's well versed in in theory here. Um, rookie eight, yeah, it's a very reasonable move. Usually. Um, usually here you go for a quick, quick attack of some sort. So I think this is very reasonable. Um, I could go knight e5, but I, I want to, I want to try and attack. Now knight d3 is logical, but I would go queen d3. And, uh, yeah, again, I just want to attack. So I'm giving up. I'm giving up this piece and hoping for some some serious attacking chances. Also, I could have gone bishop h7 immediately here. I think would also have been interesting. Knight g4 seems seems uh, like the most logical move here. Probably go rook d to e1 then to keep the tension. Um, yeah, f5, I guess this is also, also reasonable, but I'm just gonna try and blow everything open. Takes the knight, I open the h-file, of course, and queen a5. Bishop d4 looks very good. Now queen h3 followed by queen h7 is a threat. Also, also just opening the um, the um, third rank for the queen, I think, is in general very useful for me. I think also rook h8, um, queen uh, sorry king h8, queen h3, king g8, g6, maybe a decisive threat. Basic conclusion is, is he's in a lot of trouble here. C5 would lose to um, it would lose to queen queen C4 and uh, made to follow shortly there because he cannot block on the diagonal. Queen A2. If G6, there is there is F G4 and there's no longer queen um, queen H7. So I need to think here a little bit. Queen in a2 also helps uh, with the defense because later on the queen can come to g8. Let's say after rook h8, queen h3, and then g6. Um, maybe there is some defense there based on. But then again, I, I don't I don't see it concretely, so I think I'm just gonna go for rook h8. In that line. King f8 would still be mate after queen h8. Um, queen h8 and then um, uh, bishop g7. So some sort of defense would have to be based on bishop f6, I think. And then bishop f6, king f8. But it looks it looks hard to hard to believe. Actually, I th I think I had a very nice line there. Just to pause a second, bishop f6, bishop takes f6, uh, king f8, yeah, there's bishop g7, there's king e7, maybe. So maybe that wasn't... But now we do do probably get the chance to deliver a nice mate. Um, again, queen h8, uh, sorry, queen h7 is a, is a massive threat. Um, and king f8, now there is bishop takes g7, king takes g7, since there's no king e7. And uh, then queen h7, king f6, g5, king e6, queen f7 would have been mate. Rook e2 is a nice attempt at counterplay um, because it threatens queen a, 
a one mate. But unfortunately for him, I get to get to deliver another checkmate, and now, um, now there's um, now there's a uh, back rank checkmate instead. Uh, okay, I think that was that was pretty uh, pretty cool. Uh, regardless of the like objective evaluation of, of that, uh, that was um, that was a good one. <laughs>